What up, YouTube? This is Geo Stealth R1. And, well, what are we doing today? So, I've had an issue. Uh, and here's the issue that I ended up looking into it. And I tried to come across and, and rectify it when it came down to uh, me owning the Traxxas Max Slash. Even with changing out components like a sway bar kit and different types of uh, feeds when it comes down to uh, the arms or everything like that. But... Either which way, no matter what happens, this thing just dies down. And it's... Don't know why. And then I started looking at the differences between the front and the rear. So let me just move this to the side. I'm going to put you on top of the... Uh... Here we go. So, I'm looking at this. And I'm like, well, the rear has this adaptive piece for my shocks, but the front does not. And I, and I kept on wondering, why would Traxxas do something like that? And uh, just started doing a little bit of research, and I'm not too sure. You know, it, it just bottoms out because, you know, the shocks are adjustable and stuff like that. But why would, why would Traxxas even do that? And um, I need I definitely need to contact their technical support team to find out what was the reasoning for that. I'm not too sure what it was, but uh, let's try to rectify this. And I ended up going to the store. Quick, simple, adaptive piece. It's like four bucks. Uh, part number is uh, 10234. And uh, I'm just going to put it in there. Uh, I, I believe I'm going to buy the upgraded uh, aluminum ones that I hopefully I'll get that sooner or later. But... I thought about it. And I'm like, well, do I buy one set or two sets? And is this going to rectify um, this bottoming, uh, bottoming out the way it is? So um, primarily what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect um, the wheel hub. And then I think the shock has to be disconnected from here. And then once I disconnect that portion of it, it should be very simple. And then dumping these two guys in there lining it up and uh let's take care of that you know i had to stop this video and just show you you know it actually even tells you left front and let's focus in on this to where it tells you right front so i'm not too sure why tracks has left this out for the front um but yeah let me throw these wheels on and see and see what the distance is uh once i chart start putting weight on the front and seeing how these shocks adapt to this uh adapter piece that's right here and see if it bottoms out all right so i ended up throwing in both ways and look at this look at that so wow what a difference i'm not too sure why traxxas uh left that component out but you know it's what's a couple dollars fix four dollar fix and what a big dip. So nicely. Huh. $4. Who knew? Anyway, uh, if this video was informative to you, definitely give me a thumbs up. Um, hopefully, you're able to. Uh, that helps you out. I'm just curious. Could I do that with my Max? Hmm. Anyway, rate, comment, subscribe to my fellows up on YouTube. Later.